Good morning. Welcome, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Good morning, everybody. Happy Philopian Friday. Okay. Just, 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 just because it starts with an F doesn't mean you have to use it. You remember this, right? <laughs> Happy Fundamental Friday. Sure. <laughs> be ready for some interesting smart people topics because i'm tired <laughs> no homework or no bedtime <laughs> it's literally the next question on there <laughs> no homework or no bedtime yeah like i don't sleep or i don't get homework yeah uh, no no bedtime is meaning like you don't have to go to bed at a certain time you don't have a bedtime now that's fair. I never had one. I don't think I don't... I've, I've legitimately ever had a bad time. A bad time I had to be in my room by, but I didn't have to be asleep by any specific time. I don't have a bedtime now, and I don't have. I don't ever get. I didn't really. Yeah, no, I don't really ever get homework. I don't get homework now. <laughs> okay, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Neither. Next question. I don't have any homework and I don't have a bedtime. I have insomnia. I'm fucking grown up. <laughs> I have insomnia and a job. I don't get homework. <laughs> uh, flying or turning invisible? The age old question. <laughs> you know. Would you rather be able to fly or would you ever rather be invisible? I'm already invisible. <laughs> no one notices you. You're invisible. When you're high enough, you fly. I don't get high. My body I, won't allow it. <laughs> I get high. I don't get high. I I do the I do the drogues. I don't do the drogues. I can't get high though. My body physically won't allow it. I'd probably say be invisible. I'd go with invisible. I I think it would be cool as shit to go invisible, just like fucking creep around. Right. Um, Batman or Superman? Batman. Batman? Yes. Why? Because he's Batman. I don't know much about either of the characters. She's been having me watch Batman shit, so I'll go with Batman. Lions or tigers? Lions. For those who don't know, lions are my favorite animal. Lions and sharks. Yep. Wow, you remember me. Okay, first of all, rude. <laughs> <laughs> rude as shit. Acting like I don't hey, remember you. The fact that you really caught me off guard by saying lions and sharks, I'm like, yeah, oh, damn. You're right on the money there. <laughs> yeah. Asshole. Rude as shit. Acting like I don't know your ass. <laughs> Meanwhile, this man... Sat for hours trying to figure out what my favorite animal is. Hours. It it, it, <laughs> I, well, hold on. It wasn't hours. It was. De it took you two days. It took you two fucking days to figure out what my favorite animal was. Meanwhile, I talk about him all the time. I just want to add. In fact, he was. Uh, he was very pissed at the fact I that I didn't know. I was extremely pissed, and rightfully so. <laughs> his, his favorite animal is a bat. <laughs> mm -hmm. They do be. <laughs> Bats and what? I knew you were going to ask that. Bats and what? Something underwater. Mm -hmm. I can't remember specifically. Bats and... Fuck, what was it? Above the water, it's bats. Under the water is... Sh sharks. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jeez. This man... Worst business partner ever. <laughs> why do you hit me with this? Why, why, why do, you do hit I me? hit you with this? Why do you hit me th with this when I'm actually tired? It doesn't matter if you're tired or wide a fucking wake. You were wide awake when I asked you what my favorite animal was, and you took you two days to figure it out. I had a lot on my plate at the time. Fuck off. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot on my plate. Fuck you. <laughs> Rude ass bitch i pick tigers listen man you know what my life used to be like i i had a lot on my plate at the time shut up 
Next one, sharks or dolphins? Obviously sharks. Obviously sharks. Pandas or koalas? Bro, have you ever heard a koala? Yes. They sound like an engine. I know. They're fucking adorable, though. I'd choose koalas. They are adorable. <laughs> they sound like a fucking... If you haven't heard a koala, they sound like an engine. Look up what a koala sounds like. Fun fact, koalas don't like to be held. At least wild koalas don't. So they will try to swipe at you. But they just look like big teddy bears. So you gotta hold them anyways. Uh, they don't you... like to be held. Uh, they also have like... Uh, they're the closest thing to a human fingerprint. Yeah, I did hear that. Yeah. Which I think is weird. Why are why are koalas the closest thing when we have primates? <laughs> I don't know. There's there's monkeys and gorillas and shit. Why aren't there why aren't they the closest thing to a human fingerprint? Why are koalas? It's such a weird thing. First of all, it's weird that they figured this out. <laughs> Second of all, it's weird that that's how it is. Aren't koalas also primates? They're mammals. Close enough. Primates are monkeys. Oh, well, yeah. They're not monkeys. Listen, koalas sleep in trees. Yeah. And they have closest thing to human fingerprints. They're basically primates. No. No. <laughs> That's You're just not on my brain mentality level right now. You'd understand. We'll, we'll see what awake you thinks about that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> ice cream or cake? <clears throat> Why not both? Okay. Ice cream cake is the superior cake. That's fair. What kind of cake? Um, what kind of cake would you pick? Red I like velvet? red velvet. Huh? I said red velvet. How fuck you know that? Because that's what you requested my death cake be. Fair enough. I didn't think about that. I do listen, even though it doesn't fucking sound like it. I do listen to you. <laughs> Obviously, no. I listen to you more than you listen to me. <laughs> Most of the time, you talk over me and don't <laughs> react to what I say. Just because I don't react doesn't mean I didn't hear you. <laughs> that's not how I work. <laughs> 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 just because i don't react to things does not mean that i didn't listen it just you means that i didn't have a reaction you can't say that times where i'll be talking i'll be like did you hear me you'll be like no i was talking i i will admit that is true and i will always admit when i was not listening i'm not going to lie about it but yeah. that doesn't mean it's every fucking time sometimes i just don't know how to react okay that's fair. Some of the shit I say is kind of out of pocket. <laughs> it do be. It hella do be. <laughs> <laughs> this man will fucking spring load questions on you. I will. Oh, what it, the it, fuck was I talking about? Oh, uh, we were sitting in the living room watching YouTube earlier tonight. <laughs> and uh, I randomly, out of the fucking blue, asked her, You ever see someone make a rug? She goes, This is why our relationship's gonna last. No one ever spring loads a question of have you ever seen someone make a rug on another person in their life i <laughs> would did you <laughs> I, I saw someone make a rug of butters from south park earlier and i thought it was so cool i, I i've i've fallen down rug like rabbit holes of people making fucking rugs i saw this one dude he was commissioned by universal to make a cocaine bear rug. And bro, it is so fucking cool looking. <laughs> I'll have to I have to uh find the video and send it to you. It is so cool looking. But I went down this rabbit hole fucking looking at rugs. Like watching people I love watching people make rugs. It is so satisfying. I remember when you were hyper into rugs and you're like, I wanna make fucking rugs, and I'm like, that's expensive and it's hard. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cause you I never send me did. new fucking rugs every every couple days. I never, uh, I never did. In fact, start making rugs. No, no. <laughs> I got into weightlifting. 
that was also a couple of years ago by now. Oh. I had other things going on. <laughs> Shut up, but I had other things going on. When don't you? You're always fucking busy. Busy That's is, fair. busy that. You never have time for me. Listen, man, I don't even have time for myself half the time anymore. <laughs> I All I have is fucking time. <laughs> I don't have anything I don't. else other than time. Between the, work the and never wanting to be at home. Yeah, you. I, every time I'm like, I'm gonna call him. He's. You're always. You're always working. Yeah, that's what it's like being an adult. I'm an adult. We're two vastly different kinds of adults. A volcano or a mountain? I like volcanoes. Absolutely. I, I think they're pretty. They're uh, they're pretty. They're cool looking. They can erupt and completely cover an entire fucking place. I could be looking at a volcano and it erupts and burns my face off and then boom, life over. Like, that sounds so fun. You can, like, the fucking lava, you want to eat it, but it's it's not an eating thing. You can't eat it, don't eat it. But, like, it looks mighty fucking tasty. You can eat it. You might just get a blister because it's hot. Uh, you, you'll get more than a blister. <laughs> um. Okay, your whole body might become one big blister. But it's okay. I, more like death. Death. Is, is, okay, so death. Yes. Your body might just become one big blister, but it's okay. Uh, blistering death. Yes. You, you're very, you're very right there. <laughs> I know, because I'm intelligent right now, because I'm tired. Of course you are, buddy. Sun or moon? Moon. Absolutely. Who who wants the sun? Fuck off, sun. I can't, I can't even look at the sun without sneezing. That's it's so weird. oddly specific. It's not and where I thought that was going. <laughs> does, it, does that not happen to you? I mean, sometimes, but like, it was so specific. Every, every time I look at the sun, I sneeze. Yeah, not every time, but like, you shouldn't be looking at the sun. It'll hurt your retinas. <laughs> well... They also tell you you're not supposed to watch the solar eclipse without uh, specific glasses on. But look at me now, Mom. Uh, well, Mom's dead. Uh, also, oh, it'll make you go blind. No. How do you think I got this far? You're not blind. <laughs> I'm close enough. You're just stupid. <laughs> I'm There's tired. Not... I'm tired. I may be stupid, but I'm not dumb. You're both. Hey, here. <laughs> Zoo or aquarium? Aquarium. Absolutely. I like the zoo, but the zoo's always hot and outside and crowded with people. And they always they never have the lions out. What do you mean they never have the lions out? Last time we were at the zoo, I saw lions. Last time I went to the zoo, they don't have the they didn't have the lions out, and I was pissed. When was the last time you went at the fucking zoo? Two years ago. When the fuck did you go to the zoo two years ago? I don't, talk, I don't remember who I was with, but I went to the zoo for something. And we were walking around. And the lions were out. And I was here. Because the lion, the lion cage is right across from the rhinoceros cage. Yeah, so I look left. The same area. <laughs> I look left and I see no lions. I look right and I see rhino shit. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Now I was pissed, man. It's like I said, lions are my favorite animal, and I was pissed. Did you know they can't keep uh, great white sharks in a, in a aquarium? Because they will literally die out of spite. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh -huh. How did you find out that information? I like facts. <laughs> Why will they die out of spite? What, because what's they're not the in their home. They get hella depressed. <laughs> so they don't die out of spite, they're just suicidal. Yeah, out of spite. <laughs> Spitefully Same suicidal. <laughs> I feel like saying a big word right now because I'm tired smart. 
Okay. Stupendously. Ooh, nice word. That's all. Thank you. Well, you probably thought I was going to say iridocyclitis or some shit. I hundred huh? percent thought you were going to say iridocyclitis. No, hundred <laughs> percent. Stupendously is the word. Let me let me fact check myself on that. Why what? Can't great. Nope. Great white shark be kept in captivity. Basically, there are two main reasons why great sharks, great whites, can't be kept in captivity. It takes an amazing, insane, not amazing, an insane amount of resources for the aquarium to pool. Most importantly, the sharks die quickly outside of the oceans, no matter what zookeepers do. <laughs> they said, oh. mm, "Guess I'll die." <laughs> so, if you guys ever want to kill a great white shark, don't do that. But if you ever want to kill a great white shark, just take it out of its habitat. It'll die. When Not even with anything you do. It'll just do it to itself. When kept in enclosures, great whites tend to ram into the walls to injure themselves on purpose. Sometimes they stop swimming water. altogether. And for an organ oh, organism that needs water constantly flowing over its gills to breathe, that can quickly lead to death. They literally die out of spite, bro. <laughs> they say, oh, suicidal. you fucking take me out? Fine, I'll take me out. Damn suicidal sharks. Yeah, I never have I ever relayed so much to a fucking animal. <laughs> right. Take me out of my fucking natural habitat, and I'll do it out of spite. Don't fucking tempt me. <laughs> fucking tempt me. I will die. I'll die right here. <laughs> right here, right fucking now. Do it. I dare you, you fucking bitch. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> you see That's that fucking it. wall over there? It's looking awful head, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that wall will be looking awful tasty for my fucking noggin. <laughs> Put me back. I want to go home. This is not home. Yeah, no, man. That's what I do every time I get taken out of my natural habitat. <laughs> I bash my head off a fucking wall. <laughs> imagine being that petty. <laughs> right? imagine, imagine being that fucking petty when you're like, all right, all right. You want to take me out of my space? No. Oh, mm, mm, fuck off. Bam. Right. Dead. My Broke my no neck. Brain. I'll bash my head off the wall right now if someone doesn't take me home. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'll do it. Yeah, he'll do it. He really will do it. I'll do it. Don't fucking tempt me. It's like the one kid at the store that doesn't want to be at the store, so he threatens to hold his breath the entire time. It, but the thing is, you can't make yourself, uh, you, you can't kill yourself doing that. The most you can do is make yourself pass out, and that's a really extreme thing. Like, it's hard as shit to do. <laughs> These sharks literally ram into the walls to murder themselves. I know, but I'm saying, like, they are petty as shit, and I think that is why they're our favorite animals. Probably. <laughs> because they are the most petty bitches. Such smart creatures, though. <laughs> no, there's something all right. I want to see a whale in an aquarium. Not like a orca or something like that. I want to see like a blue whale. Orcas are extremely in intelligent too. They also kill out of spite. Like they wouldn't uh, do know. it for food. They will literally kill out of spite because they feel like it. <laughs> Why they call them killer whales? Yeah. No, they they are actually the only known predator of great white sharks of any not any but most sharks let me tell you if i ever got caught in the ocean with a pack of orcas because you know they they swim in packs oh, the, you i be would afraid. shit myself you will be those are one of the most you should be afraid of animals in the entire fucking world those and hippos them bitches will know like, they do not give two fucks. They are completely vegetarian, which should be like a manatee. Be like super nice and like, you know, I'm just fucking vibing, chilling, bro. Not even fucking mind you. 
Don't even fucking worry about it. No, 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 no. There we go. Out of their way to fuck you up because they said, mm, fuck around, find out. Right. Love it. <laughs> no fucking reason that. for it. But, you know, it's fine. I say that. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Did you know hippo <laughs> milk is pink? Hippos make milk? Yeah, they're mammals. And their milk is pink. You say they're mammals like all fucking mammals make milk. Fredo, you do know what, what a mammal is, right? I know a koala is a mammal, and I don't see no koala milk. Fredo. What? Mammals are anything that have mammary glands. That's why they're called mammals. Mammary glands hold milk for bubbies. You're telling me koalas make milk? They do. No shit. Fredo. That's crazy. Uh, uh, how? How do you, you worry me? <laughs> I'm gonna ram my head on a fucking wall. <laughs> oh, this is this is a great song for uh, the time of talking about this. What's on? <laughs> Bullet by Hollywood Undead. <laughs> um, <laughs> hamburgers or hot dogs? Hamburgers. Yeah, I used get more to eat a lot of cold hot dogs when I was little. So did I. I like. I used to get cold. My mother was such an asshole. She used to tell me that if you ate cold hot dogs, you'd get worms. I think that was just like a normal thing that people told. Because they didn't want you to, like, get sick off of, like, if you do, if you do eat uncooked meat, it can give you, like, horrible stomach problems and, like, shit like that. Uh, I yeah. don't know about worms, but, like, I did hear that. I, I, yes. I do remember hearing that growing up. Um, but they won't, uh... All the hot dogs come pre-cooked. Like, it's it's fine to eat cooked. Right. You don't need right. to actually heat it up to cook it. Right. Um, but I do remember hearing that growing up, too. Yeah. You used to get told if you eat cold hot dogs, you'll get worms. Yeah. I I'm do, like, I'm I not do remember dog. hearing that. What? I used to say I wasn't a dog when they told me I'd get worms. <laughs> you used to say you weren't a dog yeah because they'd be like if if you eat raw or if you eat cold hot dogs you'll get worms i'm like i'm not a dog i can't get worms they scared the shit out of me though i really thought i had worms for <laughs> for a little bit you, you do know you can get worms right you know that now yeah a ringworm ringworm tapeworm roundworm oh yeah you know that i think roundworm I've is just another word for ringworm yeah. Pinworm. You get. I think they were you thinking of. I, I think they were talking about either tapeworms or pinworms, because wild worms pin? are from walking around in like dirty places and getting getting a worm in your cut, and it makes a circular ring. Right. Which is how it gets its name, ringworm. What's um, what's pinworms? Pinworms uh, are. I don't know exactly how you get them, but. Uh, they are like to figure out if you have pinworms you have to look uh, after you take a poop and see if there's little, little worms crawling around in it oh. if if your your uh, your holes itchy you may you, and if you feel something back there it's it's probably a pinworm oh yeah that's that's what a pinworm is. Gross. Mm -hmm. They're little maggot-like worms that are like well, specifically like around the anus. Well, I've never had worms, ladies. <laughs> ladies. <laughs> I've never had worms. I'm clean. No type of worms at all, ladies. <laughs> I mean, I've 
held earthworms. <laughs> I've never had worms either. Ladies. Ladies. I'm spoken for. Um, I'm, I'm getting there. Sure you are, bud. We'll go Shut up. That. We'll go with getting there, sure. Shut up. No. Um, you suck. I'm trying to think if there's any other... I know, like, bot fly maggots and everything uh, can, like... The, those are more, like, outside of the U.S. Um, if you go to... Which is why, like, doctors will ask, have you been outside the country? Um, to, like, specific places, to contract different things. And um, one of the things is, is bot fly will lay their lay their eggs on like your it's usually in on your scalp and like you have to get them removed because it's a literal larva in your scalp right and they have to exercise it out by like cutting the the scalp or like squeezing it or suffocating it to getting it to get it out and it causes like extreme pain you know, one thing, when I was younger, I was weirdly, extremely worried about a bug crawling in my ear. Well, I used to hear this thing that said, like, a couple hundred spiders crawl into your mouth every night. Yeah, that's not true. Yeah. Well, spiders obviously. are more scared of you than you are of them. Right. They, they wouldn't do that unless you're dead. Like, very dead. Um... They wouldn't, they wouldn't crawl into your mouth. Uh, I mean, there probably have been cases and everything, but not like, you know, you don't, you don't randomly eat like 20 spiders every fucking year. That's, that's, that's just a, that's a myth. Um, right. But it's, uh, um, I used to, when I found out what earwigs were, you know, the pincher bugs. Yeah. I, ever, when I found out their actual name are earwigs, I was like, they're gonna crawl in my ear. I know I have seen the, I, the there's pincher bugs outside. What if they? What if one gets? I was so fucking worried about one getting in my ear and like just fucking living there. So like I developed a habit and I still have it, and it's not because of like I I don't worry about that anymore. But I have a really bad picking problem where like i'll just sit there and dig in my ears with like my finger uh and get all the the wax built up from the last day or so out that's probably why my ears are so sensitive to sound and everything there's no fucking wax in there probably um but i would i would just sit there and dig in my fucking ears because i was i was so worried that there would be a bug in my ear <laughs> <laughs> like it sounds stupid but like it's happened like people there are bugs that'll just like fucking crawl into your ear not I like any it. specific bug like b- bugs in general will do it and it causes right. an immense amount of pain because that's something that should not be in there <laughs> right. but I've never had a bug in my ear ladies neither have I <laughs> uh, fruits or vegetables? I like fruits. I like fruits too. What's your favorite fruit? Nanas. I like nanas. I can't eat nanas. I got I got a <laughs> stomach problem. That's that's sad, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I can't eat. I'm one of the two percent that can't fucking eat bananas. See, my fav, my top three favorite fruits are nanas pineapples and honeydew i never I, I never got the the honeydew craze i mean craze? i don't mind no uh, i mean like i never really cared for it i don't mind honeydew but like it's not if i was offered another fruit i i would probably take it way faster than mm-hmm. honeydew. i fucking love honeydew i don't know uh, it's meh I mean, it's like a more bland uh, uh, cantaloupe to me. Fair. 
Yeah. Um, I See, like I don't like how much flavor cantaloupe has, though. Like, I can eat cantaloupe, but I only eat a couple pieces. I'd much prefer honeydew. Uh, I can eat a lot more honeydew than I can Because it cantaloupe. is a more bland cantaloupe. Right. Like, I like <laughs> the flavor of cantaloupe. I used to hate cantaloupe, especially when my mother used to go and buy go to the store to specifically buy a cantaloupe. You remember that? No. That woman used to be obsessed with cantaloupe. I, d- listen, I I had enough food obsessions of my time. I didn't care about hers. <laughs> she was obsessed with cantaloupe. We used to go to the store so she could specifically get a cantaloupe. No, I don't remember that. I'm not saying it didn't happen. But, you know, I won't disagree that it happened. <laughs> but I don't, uh, I don't remember that. Had a funny story at work. This is a, this is a talk about another droge. So if you are sensitive to droges, feel free to skip ahead. But I had a funny conversation with a guy at work today. Is that about the one that you were just telling me? No. Oh, okay. Not, not, not the acid one. That was another different droge <laughs> conversation. That was the, that was the different one. <laughs> So I have a guy that I work with who was, he was an ex, like ex junkie. Uh huh. Right way to ex start addict. story. Yeah. And, uh, they brought in this big bag, this big Aldi's bag full of candy. Yeah. And my manager was picking at it and I was like, well, what are you eating in there? He goes, get you some. So I walked over there and I seen it was a big bag of candy. So I started eating some. And then the, the dude walks over to this guy's a real nice guy. He's really cool. And uh, he walks over, he goes, what do you got there? I was like, there's candy, get some. He goes, there's fucking candy? I was like, yeah. He comes over, he starts picking through the bag and stuff. I was like, I didn't know you liked candy all like that. He goes, it's better than heroin. That's what's up. <laughs> he, he was telling me about, he was like, I used to be addicted to heroin. I was like, yeah. He goes, now I'm just addicted to junk food. I was like, fuck yeah. Junk food's a lot healthier for you than heroin. He goes, yeah, that's you know. true. You know, I told him I was like, eat as much candy as you want, man. He goes, I will. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. He's like, I went from an actual junkie to just a junk food junkie now. There, there's a, there's a, there's a vastly superior option. <laughs> right. <laughs> man eats a little too much junk food. That's fine. A little too much of the other one. It, it's not. It's not as fine, guys. It's not as fine. <laughs> <laughs> can 100% guarantee not gonna be as fine as eating a little too much fucking snicker bar. Right. <laughs> you get you eat a little too much snicker bar, might get a tummy ache. Get a tummy ache. You get a little, a little other achy <laughs> if you have a little too much of the other one. Or not enough of the other one. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Disney World or Legoland? Never been to either. I didn't know Grew Legoland. Up. Was separate. <laughs> I thought it was just another like fucking part of Disneyland. It's not. I, I, they're separated, so I'm guessing not. I've never been to either. I grew up poor. Same. <laughs> Which would you rather go to? I want to go to Disney World. Disney World. Yeah. What's the difference between Disney World and Disneyland? Different location. Is that literally the only difference? From what I've heard. Huh. Okay. Disney World might be a little bit bigger than Disneyland too. I want to go to the one in Japan. Because their shit looks fucking amazing. That's like Disney Metropolis. You know. <laughs> Bro, I think <laughs> it would be so cool to go to the Super Mario World in uh, Japan. Right. That shit looks so fun. I, uh, I talked to my one buddy who went to Disney World recently. Yeah. He told me, he was like, it's literally just a bunch of people on scooters. He goes, I got my foot ran over twice. <laughs> on the little scoot scoots. Yeah. He goes, it's just a people, a bunch of people that are rolling around in scooters. Like the mobile scooter yeah. things that you get at the store. Yeah. He's like, it was just a bunch of people rolling around on those. He goes, they weren't even trying to ride anything. They were just rolling around. Hey, because I got my foot go ran over vibe. twice. <laughs> go for the vibe. That's just expensive. If I had money to blow like that, fuck yeah, I'd be rolling around fucking Disney World. 
You'd be walking. <laughs> I would not. Because it would make my back hurt. <laughs> make my back hurt. Make my ass hurt to sit. Either way, I'd be in pain. But I'd take sitting. <laughs> and then my entire body wouldn't hurt because my back hurts. I've See, I've, I've, back heard, <laughs> I've heard it's not even worth getting the fast pass for Disney World. Because the fast pass line is just as long as the regular line. Jeez. Yeah, so I've heard it's not even worth getting the fast pass line. I don't know, man. I, if you could go to like any one of those, like, what? Which one would you pick? Like, not Disney. It could be any of the Disney's. Could be Universal. Could be Legoland. It could be you know whatever. Which? What would? I'd, you... I'd pick Universal. Universal. Yeah. What's that Universal? Um, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. SpongeBob's a Universal. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. They used to have a whole Nick, like Nickelodeon theme park. Is that still it, a thing, or is it? Is it's in Universal, yeah. Fucking no. It's still a still a thing. Yeah, no, they still have a Nickelodeon area in Universal. No, I mean, I think there was a whole Nick Park. Oh, no, they moved that into Universal. Ah, uh, okay. I don't know if they uh, discontinued that with Schnan Diter, you know. Right. Uh, if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, look into uh, the great creator of probably your favorite shows growing up, if you grew up. Uh, around the time we did, uh, Dan Schneider produced most of them. He's a he's an amazing guy. I Carly, if you... Sam and Cat, Victorious. You know what? Just Rush. read Jeanette McCurdy's book. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, yeah. She mm, God, she breaks really down from what I've heard in her book. Like I said, I I've never read it. Readings for prisoners. Uh, VTD wrote it. I don't. I don't know anything about it. I didn't read it, but she was telling. From what me I, it. yeah, from what I heard, she breaks down everything that Dan Schneider paid her hush money for. I, how can you take advantage of a kid like that? Right. Like, I, how can? No, absolutely fuck not. Should uh, I break down one of the biggest things? Hmm? Should I break down one of the biggest things? Uh, from what I had heard, Dan Schneider had a foot fetish. That's yeah. why on iCarly and everything, they were always messing with their feet. Yeah, that's that's like one of the most known ones. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hey, get your fetishes. Not with kids, though. Not with fucking kids. Stop. Ugh. So fucking... No. Uh, no. No. He, he, he did not mean that. Don't Don't get your fetishes in like that. No, not with kids. You got a fetish. That's your own fucking... You whatever. got a fetish. Keep it online or keep it in the goddamn bedroom. <laughs> right. And not kids. We... D no. <laughs> that's no. not what we're talking about. <laughs> no. If it has anything to do with kids, turn your fucking self in now. If it has anything to do with trash. kids... If it has anything to do with kids, you're sick and you need to go to <laughs> You prison. need to go bye bye You need bye 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 Gross. Fucking gross. Gross. <laughs> like, that's, all, that's all I can say is fucking gross. Don't do gross. it. Why? And it's it's always the fucking, like, kids show stuff. Kids or teen show kind of stuff. Like, he did uh, Zoe. He did Ned's Declassified, I'm pretty sure. Like, it was most of the live action. Henry Danger, which was after me. I didn't like Henry Danger. I like Henry Danger. I didn't like Henry Danger. I thought it was stupid. I don't like most sitcom shows. <laughs> um, but it, it was it was most of the live action shows that he did. There was very few Drake and Josh. Um, all that. Like he did all of those. Mo not all, but like most of the live action ones. So. It's, it's great. Uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Gross. Fucking. Mm -mm, no. 
Right. I don't know. I don't understand how your wife can still stand by you. Right. Like, isn't his wife a lawyer or something like that? She's another high, uh, high price name. I honestly don't know. I don't know anything about his wife. Oh, what does she do? Well, she was still... Yeah, she's still married to him. <laughs> she's an American entrepreneur. She's the creator of the Hungry Girl brand, including email, subscription, cookbooks, low-calorie lo- recipes, and life hacks. Oh. She's st- she's been married to him since O2. Yeah. Like, there is no fucking way that you did not know this was happening. There is no way. And you did nothing to save these poor kids. You mm, no, Ugh. gross. The fact that you're still, still, married to him is even worse. <laughs> you know. Yeah. How can you support somebody who is like, like doing that? At least it's not listed on here that they have any kids. Because that's a good yeah. thing. God help them kids if they did. Dan Schneider's wife, aka Hungry Girl, exposed. What happened there? Oh. Huh? I don't know. I'm not getting into that. That's another. That's. <laughs> Pervy Dan Schneider is married to Creepy Lisa. Okay, I guess they're both great people. <laughs> That that might be why. That might that might be why. <laughs> uh, it's, um, yeah. Okay. Amazing. Where is Dan Schneider now? Hopefully in a ditch. <clears throat> uh, yeah. No. Uh, let us know what your favorite fucking. I don't know. I don't know. What was some of the questions? Where where would you like to go? What theme park would you like to go? Let us know in the comments. Uh, sorry for ending this on a gross person note. <laughs> Hope you have a great day or night, depending on what time you're watching. And if today's your birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday and happy uh-huh. fundamental Friday? Is that what I said? Is it? Yeah. Sure, we'll go with that. It's better yeah. than Flopian Tube Friday. Fair enough. <laughs> like and subscribe if you like this. Have a safe flight home. We'll see you next season.